Hey everybody, how y'all doing? This is Dev Ear, one of the developers for ZSGO. We recently finished our tutorial and I thought I'd just hop in and kind of just do a walk through the game so y'all know what's going on and you're not out there clueless. So we'll start off with, of course, what you load up into first. You join our Discord right here. Please do, it's epic epic community everyone's giving good feedback we love the feedback we love to build off the feedback of course so yeah get in there let us know if you have any issues that you see bugs you find you know anything anything at all um over here though is everything you're gonna need to get started so of course the settings you can have in here just hud settings general hud settings set your graphics up make it look pretty audio of course i lowered it because i'm recording if not i'd be blasting it and yeah all your all your controls in here you can do controller support however you got to go in here and set these to something something creative on your own um to use your quick slots of course and you got your sensitivity we do have a default um steam deck controller layout that is great to hop on so i, I suggest throwing that on um, if you have a steam deck and yeah then you got your credits of course we could look at the credits oh yeah look at all of those guys and the fonts and icons epic yep so and then if you go head over to single player you can start a new game load a game that you already have saved and play a tutorial of course which is what we're about to get to but I'll show you multiplayer here you go to host a server of course right here you start a new game host your own or you could go to the server browser and see if anyone else is hosting a server and join into their game um, I'm doing this pretty early in the day so no one's hosting a server right now usually later in the day they'll they'll start populating up a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and head into the tutorial here okay welcome to tutorial island please enjoy press 2 2 and then left click to use your flashlight or you can change gamma in your video settings right here so you don't have to worry about the flashlight. So we'll get that up nice and okay. I'm gonna need the flashlight to get out though. Got the door. Spooky, scary skeletons in the closet. Um, okay, clothing and backpacks give you more inventory space. So if you look at the bottom right, this is important. There's three options: pick up, equipped, and search. So if you want to search, you can just search it while it's on that. Well, where it is and just look what's in it and if there is something in it you could grab it out or you could just equip right away if you pick up I don't have space to pick up but if you pick up then it would just go right into your inventory like that instead of actually equipping it on you so check shelves as always some containers are lootable so yeah if it's open yeah you could you could take it off the shelf but some of them are closed and you could still click on it and loot what's in there so don't forget about that I'm going to lower my sensitivity a little. I feel it's going crazy. There we go. Okay, so some things on the floor to help us out later on. Jeez. Yep, make sure to loot around. You can loot this to drop your... Oh, well, actually... So, once you pick up your machete or something, you see something in your main slot. These two slots are pretty much um, the two thing, the two main items you can hold that you can actually use. So, right now I could use my knife, I could use my flashlight. I wouldn't go off of this bar too much because as you see, if I put my machete there and press 3, it says it must be equipped. So, these are what's equipped. The main and then the alt to the main. So, I could drag this machete here and yeah. Now I got my machete. Easy peasy. So, oh wow. I wonder what could be in here with these big arrows. Red key card. Okay. So, this is interesting for the tutorial. There's a red key card um, in order to move from room to room. So, 
every room is going to have a red key card probably so that you could go to the next room but in the real game the red key card is used for something else you're going to have to find out on your own good luck out there survivor anyways we got the red key card f to search yep control and click to pick up fast r to rotate the item so what it's saying is if you have something in here you could con hold control and then click it to put it it'll auto fit and put it in your stash and then also if it's in your stash you could use r like that to rotate it around get it nice and set up looking clean looking beautiful okay yeah you got it loot around the room to find the key we already did that take a good look at the floors and the containers we did that find scarina scarina see what she has to say scarina <laughs> oh um npcs can trade or offer missions scroll to missions when looking at scarina so at bottom right of the screen again you can see down here there's shop which is everything that she buys by clicking this tab you see everything that she buys um yeah she loves explosives clearly i mean look at her she has an rpg on her back and then you could sell also yeah so if you have enough shekels which is the currency can buy some stuff off of her however we will go to check out the missions like we were told too many grenades welcome to zs go survivor i have way too many grenades lying around back home any chance you could craft me up one of them makeshift bags you're gonna have to look for some sticks and cloth there should be some outside that door behind you cool so crafting tab to open inventory on the top right click the blue gear hover item to see what you need to click to craft Okay, so blue gear in the top right. Might as well go over all three of these. We got the inventory, the bag. So that just shows you what we already got here. What's in your bag, what's in your gear, what's in your stash. And you got the blue gear, which is everything that you can craft from the start without this crafting bench. You'll need this crafting bench to advance to more complicated things. Um, and then you got all your missions that are currently active. So... For example, she wanted us to do too many grenades. I could click on it, boom, tells me what to get. Craft screen, a makeshift backpack. So we can head over to the makeshift backpack and we see the cost is 10 cloth and 10 sticks and it takes seven seconds. So I'll go over that in a second. Check outside, sticks and cloth. Yeah, so how we do sticks and cloth is it spawns outside on the ground. You gotta look for some sticks. There's a stick. There's a stick. This little forage of leaves is actually some sticks in there, so that's always good to grab. Of course, the cloth. And then also, small stones will be littered around. Be sure to grab those. Those come in handy later on. And then, of course, some food, like blueberries, which you could go over to your inventory and right-click eat. I'd be sure to read it first because this one clearly says nutritious berries that you can eat. So that's good. However, toxic shrooms, a, a suspicious looking fungus. Give it a try if you're feeling adventurous or desperate. Clearly, probably not the move. You can eat shrooms because it says uh, you can't be too picky. So, I mean, I guess you got to eat it, you know, got to get over it. HUD indicators. <clears throat> we got red, which is health, right here at the bottom right. We got blue, which is thirst. Orange, which is hunger. Green, which is this bar right here. Uh, stamina, and then yellow right here, which is radiation. So if you notice, I have a little bit of yellow right there. And if I eat another shroom, it goes up a little bit more. So that's why it says you can't be too picky because, I mean, you're getting food and water from it, but it also is giving you a little bit of radi radiation. If this radiation bar fills all the way up, you're done. Instant death. So pay attention, please. Jump, space, crouch, control, shift to run, and of course the new X auto jog. Look at that. What a nice jog. Okay, anyways. Oh! Let's craft up this backpack for Scarina. Go 
go to missions and complete. So now she gave us a red key card and two mags. And you know what the red key card's used for in the tutorial, so we're gonna move on. I <laughs> hear music. Okay, some guns don't require magazines. So I'm gonna have to pick this up and then of course drag it over my main. Okay, so, so notice I have no bullets. Um, that is because I have to pick them up and press R. Easy peasy, load the bullets into the mag. Good to go, right? Well, that's not how it works for every gun. For guns like this, you can see that there is a mag in it. So our, we go by bullet based system, not a mag based system like most, well not most, but a lot of other shooters. Um, so yeah, you have to individually load the bullets into the mag. And then if I shoot this mag, to 12 bullets, and then I reload, that mag, will, well there's one in the chamber, so that mag will hold the 11 bullets that it had. And then you gotta find more bullets like this and load it into the mags manually. Make sure you're fully loaded. Reload with R if you have the mags with ammo, load bullets into the magazine. That's what I just said. Okay, just making sure. So, red key card, bunch of ammo, and yeah, let's uh, get to some zombie killing. Aim for the noggin, which is the head. If you do not know. See, one shot to the head, multiple shots to the body. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Big tips coming from Dev Egg. Ear, Dev Ear. <laughs> okay, warning. Dangerous Zeds and next room. Press escape and save, just in case. Save. New save. Tutorial. Okay, now I'll save my position right here just in case I absolutely toss. Okay, usually they're already running at me. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is really good. I've had much more trouble with this one. Okay, stay time still, this is good. Okay, we got a lighter. More stuff to read. Kill the Zeds, then make sure to loot. Da da da, everything. Zeds have loot too sometimes. Yeah, so you can loot the Zeds like so. Let's pick it all up. Ooh. Okay. You never know where you might find some loot. Cool. Free metal barricade. So yeah, it's good to find one of these. Um, these could be kind of taken with you wherever. And if you just drag it to your hotbar or just right click and click place and then click on your hotbar, you could take it out. It's kind of like just a little line of defense. You could throw it down if you're in combat or something. Um, by the way, Q and E are used to lean left and right, so that's big to know. Um, okay, and yeah, continue looting. So we got, yeah, so I'm gonna get some, oh, there's the key card. However, we should continue to keep looting because I already know what's coming next. So yeah, I'm gonna finish looting. So did I get the barrel yet? Boom, baby, let's go, okay. song's a banger okay you're gonna need to see some c4 to blow that down but this wall right here this is what players uh buildings will be made out of so this is just kind of a way to represent that you can blow through these walls and we're gonna do it right now so you just press f on the kill station and you're gonna want to go to the work area and then drag your stuff in the work area 
focus like this. I already know what makes the C4, so I'll just fly through it. But right here you can see C4, 20 explosives, one lighter, five iron bars, and one propane. So that's what we got in there. And you click C4, 60 seconds. For every minute you are sad, you're losing a whole 60 seconds of happiness. You're welcome. While it's crafting, check this room. Absolutely. Pick a helmet in your inventory on the, on the top right. Outfit, helmet, backpack. Okay, some outfits take multiple slots, like rad protection suit. So we got some hats in this locker. Of course, you got to go with the just mask. This slot is for your helmet. Helm for helmet. This is for your outfit, shirt, and your backpack. This is for missions that you get from vendors later on where you could um, take a carrier package from one vendor to another. So, oh. Sounds like our C4 is done. So you head over to the work area again. Bust it out. Place. Drop down a C4, and then you got to make sure that you put this blue wire in the right slot. Like that, yep, totally. Wow. Stunning. Okay. Let's see, how's your ammo looking? Remember to fill your magazine with bullets. Sounds good. I'll listen to that sign, because why would there be a sign saying that unless there was something coming? 25 ammo. Ooh, plenty of ammo. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. More guns? Question mark. Take note of how each weapon has a different background color. So... I will demonstrate what that is saying right here. I don't need the med kit. I don't need the med kit. So as you can see, right here, there is a red AR-17, which looks absolutely sick. Oh, actually, this is a good learning experience. Bottom right, there. if you can see right next to AR-17, there's three bullets and one bullet. I'm pressing B right now to switch between automatic and semi-automatic. So now it's automatic. Got it. Cool. Um, so we'll put that away. And yeah, so you see we got red, orange, and green. There's also two other colors. There's yellow and purple. And yeah, color is used to show importance or like how good the weapon is. Of course, the red... AR-17 is way better than the green pistol. So, and then of course purple, which is like pretty really rare items. So, if you see purple, you're in business. Okay, radiation in next area. Take the suit or mask. Suit is better protection, but takes away your backpack and helmet slots. So, I'm gonna keep this gun. If you read that correctly, it takes away both your backpack and your helmet slots. And it's also an outfit. So it takes your outfit slot. So I will go ahead and equip this radiation suit because I'm sure I'm probably going to need it. And then I'm going to search my shirt and control click everything. And of course, eat all my berries. So that I have everything for the next room key card right there. I have no space. I'll go ahead and eat the vegetables. Okay, so remember to eat and drink. Your hunger and thirst are in the right-hand corner. Blue is thirst. Orange is hunger. We're looking good now because I just ate a bunch of stuff, but yeah, we have other items in here for you who want to try the free tutorial out. And then, of course, water sources. This is a hard one. Water can be difficult. You have to look for water sources when you're out there. So you could, yeah, see a dirty tank. You could drink out of that dirty tank. However, it'll tell you in the bottom, usually if it says dirty also, right here, if it says dirty, it will probably be radiated. So that's why my radiation bar went up a little bit. 
and then also there will be a notification that pops up right here that says it was radioactive. See, you drank radioactive water. Dirty pump, probably radioactive. You drank radioactive water. Well, so wells, this one is a good one. You drank water, great, that's a good well. Um, not all wells are good though. Some wells are also tainted, so be careful. And another good feature, if you do find a tainted jug like this one here, tainted hydro jug, if you drink it, yeah, it gives you a little bit of radiation. However, if you right click and empty it, it'll make it zero and then you could fill it with the clean well water and then it'll turn into a regular jug, not a tainted jug. So that's big to know. And then, yeah, this is a tainted water bottle. Good water bottle. Tainted hydro jug. Good hydro jug. Got it? Easy. Let's move on. This can't be good. Okay. So we already are getting rads. And it makes sense because there is radioactive stuff on the floor. So as you can see, my rad ticker on the right is going up. And if I take my outfit off, it starts ticking up fast. And as soon as that bar fills up, there's no warning or nothing. You're just dead. So I'll keep that on. And then I'm going to need this to get out of here. So we'll do that. Oh. We'll do that. And rad pills. We'll get to rad pills once I get out of here. Okay. Jeez. You don't have to do me like that. Sticks. So, the rad pills. If you see, I have a, about a third-ish, a fourth, a third-ish of rads. You just gotta take some of that rad MX and boom, takes it down a little bit. Boom, takes it down a little bit more. And yeah, rad MX is really good. There will also be a craftable rad mix soon, MX soon. So, building plan and hammer used for building shelter. Right click in inventory and hold, then hold right click to see the building wheel. Need wood? Get to chopping. So, I have the building plan right here. However, we don't have a wood. So, before wood, of course, you're going to need the axe. So, one stick and two stone. We'll get to crafting that. Make room for it, of course. And it's done, but hold on, let me clear this zombie. Okay, so the axe is done. We'll get rid of the pickaxe. We don't need it. We're not going to need it. Well, before you get chopped and search the floor, find sticks and stones and craft an axe. We already have one. Let's make sure we stay loaded up. Okay. Yep, these are sneaky stashes. So we have a few different types of sneaky stashes. I knew I should have kept my AR-17, but fine. There's, yeah, so keep your eye out for little s weird stashes like that. There's a few different types. Um, so we'll, we'll see a few in here in a second. And you could obviously drink the water out of the lake. However, it is radioactive, so watch yourself. <clears throat> Yeah, here's another sneaky stash. You can also find build parts to place that don't require resources. Oh, I gotta be able to get in there. Come on now. Yeah, so. A wood foundation. I'm gonna drop these sticks. So, you can either right click this and place the wood foundation you found in game or you could take out your building plan and craft your own, but we still don't have wood. So I'm gonna pull out my ax.
<laughs> Beautiful. And foundation. You're gonna have to build over. That's what I'm doing. But you stare down. You can press R to rotate the you stare. And get on over. Easy. Okay, so you could press here, open the gate, of course. Get up here, survivor! Okay, so clearly you just heard the good guy Jerry up there on his megaphone calling for me. So I'm going to try my best to get up there to him. Let's see. Okay, we got Mungo. What do you got for us, Mungo? Smelt it and dealt it listen buddy you want you want in the place with all the fancy guns question mark yes then you're gonna have to help me out there's a fan furnace in the box to your right plop that thing down and smelt up some iron if you get five i'll give you the key smelt five iron give him the key okay okay so let's make some room this here furnace and grab this because we're gonna need it so to place a furnace which you can also craft in your crafting menu right here for 10 wood 20 stone and two pipes good luck finding a pipe ask yuki if you can't find it okay and then there's a little arrow that you point towards the wall that points towards the front so it points at the front so you want the arrow pointing away from you Course, um, make sure to place furnace on flat surface oh. so we got a little wood saved up which can be used for fuel and now we're gonna need some iron beautiful oh and another sneaky stash oh my goodness that is really rare actually okay Okay, unless someone made it so that it always has that, just for the tutorial. I'm not sure, but that would be crazy if I just found that by coincidence. Um, we are a team of three devs, so sometimes someone else makes a change and the other one doesn't always know about it, you know? So yeah, we're gonna do iron. I'm gonna split up this iron actually before putting it in here because I am a experienced player. And I know that if I split it up into three, It'll start cooking in three. Then I could drag my fourth in there, of course. So now, in the time that it would have taken one thing to cook, it's gonna bust out three instantly, and then four lagging behind because I took a little bit of put in there, of course. And then yeah, it takes like half the time. So much better. Charcoal will be useful um, for reasons I can't explain. You'll figure it out on your own, okay? I got eight. Let's get these eight. Get it over to Mungo. Boom. Item added. We got the red key card. Let's make sure we have everything we need before getting in there. Make sure our mags are loaded up. We got some extra mags. Okay. Get destroyed. Okay. You just, uh,. Let me just uh, fillet some zombies real quick. Um, okay, this is actually, yeah, it's pretty bad. So, ooh, sneaky stash with the first aid kit. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, I'm upgrading. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go with this. Beautiful. So this is going to be an interesting one actually, pay attention, this is a radiated zombie, and you don't want to kill him. Jeez. 
too <laughs> close because if you're in that bubble right there, you're gonna take some serious damage. You're gonna take meds or rads, and you're gonna get messed up. Some MREs right there to eat. A couple more guns. Good tip on the guns here: if you double click your gun while you're holding it, you could see that you could put a mag, a sight, a muzzle, and a forward grip on it. If you ever find those in game. We do want to add some interesting ones. There was an idea for a strap or something that you could get that would allow you to sprint faster with your gun or something like that, but we'll see. Um, okay, combat vest. That looks super armored. Of course, the trade-off is you can't hold much in it, so unfortunate. Okay, we'll see. I didn't have room in my inventory for another for my mag coming out to go into, so you gotta clear a little room in your inventory if you wanna reload like that. <clears throat> Here's another special zombie right here. This is an armored zombie. Not that one. This one. So watch. It's gonna take a little more shots to the head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I'm actually hitting the helmet. There we go. Oh. So, this is actually beautiful for a tutorial. Um, this is a rad storm. So, if you ever see the sky turning green or hear any crazy alarms going off in the distance, be sure to... I'll, I'll explain in a second, actually. See how I'm outside in the rad storm? And my rads are going up on the bottom right. Oh. So... They're going up because they're under something. So you have to find cover underneath something, and then your rads will calm down. You'll still hear the ticking sound, the Geiger counter. But, as you can see, my rads aren't going up. So, that's huge. I am going to make a run for Jerry, though, because he is indoors, so that'll be safe to get there. Let's go for it. Yeah, sketchy. So, let's see what we got. A little bit of loot. Jerry. Nice work, survivor. Okay, you did great. Once you get out, out on the island, find me. I'm located, li located near the mountains to the west in the swamp. There you will find my camp. I'll be at the top in my office. We have big things to accomplish, survivor. Hurry up. And he gives you some whiskey. And if you don't have room for the whiskey, or what you get from the quest, it'll drop it on the ground, so. Yeah. That covered a lot, actually. Um, the hammer. You could use the hammer and, and hold right click, as you can see on the left. And then if you look at a wall that you built, you can then upgrade it to metal or destroy that wall that you built if you don't want it to be there anymore. So that is an important, um, here, does this work? Might have to be equipped. Let's see. Oh no, it is equipped. It's just, yeah, you have to be pointing at the actual buildable thing, but, oh yeah, there's some, uh, ash left over from the rad storm going absolutely bananas uh yeah but that is about yeah that is about it demo finished well played hope you enjoyed see you in the wasteland survivor here is where you will go to the main menu of course listen to the beautiful sound effects for loading the main menu. Oh yes, flawless. And yeah, special look at our credits again. Um, thank you everyone for checking out the tutorial. Get it, it's, I mean, it's free on Steam. I'm just, if some people don't wanna play the tutorial so you can listen to the dev be an idiot and try to navigate his way and 
explain it to y'all. So thank you for checking it out. I'll see you in there. Good luck.